Hello everyone on YouTube is I Joke Saying and I'm presenting you in front of you my phone Samsung Galaxy Note 2. It is awesome phone, it's getting bit old but anyway it still works and it's absolutely fantastic phone. Anyway, enough of praising my phone. Uh what you're seeing here is PPSSPP, which is PSP emulator for Android. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is show how well it works on Samsung Note 2 and obviously uh, newer phones. Anyway, so let's show some settings and stuff. Uh, please excuse the poor quality of video, I still haven't bought a better webcam, so you have to deal with this shady quality. Anyway, just basic uh, graphic settings, you can, well, you can make it uh, look nicer and stuff, but I don't really, well, you don't really need to do that. Yes, audio things, controls, you can map the controls however you want. You can actually use, uh, for example, blue uh, controller like Moga or iPega and they work quite well. I have the MOGA controller but obviously I don't have it with me right now. It's somewhere else right now. <laughs> so I can show you that unfortunately. Then there's some of them. Actually this is kinda boring. So let's actually hop right in the games. I have here three games installed. Well not really installed but anyway. There's Ultimate Coast and Goblins, Monster Hunter, uh, what was Freedom Unite, and Persona 3 Portable. Let's go for Coast and Goblins first. I'm actually going to use uh, Save State. Yeah, this does have Save States because it would take too much to load. Alright. Oh. I actually have to. Set the controls. Oh, yeah. Okay, continue. Yes. So this is gonna be a bit hard, but as you can see, uh, it's a bit laggy on the video, but it's perfect uh, 60 frames per second. No lag at all. It m might sh seem a bit laggy for you because you are watching this through a shitty webcam, but it's absolutely fantastic to play. But it is obviously it's kind of hard with the uh, touchscreen controls. But if you have controller like Omega or iPega or iFail or something like that, then that's good. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck happened there? I don't even know. <laughs> Probably some bugs. This is an emulator after all. Huh. I wonder what that's about. Well, anyway, it seems to work quite well. Oh, I accidentally pressed wrong buttons. Whoop, up, up. Yeah. Well, let's go for next game. Oh, advertisement. Awesome. Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Um, let's see if I save state. Yeah, I do. As you can see, this works quite well too. Uh, oh yeah, you can jump there. Unfortunately, I haven't played this game yet, so all I can show you is how to run around. Well, that's probably fun too, right? Anyway, I have to. Pl oh, uh, there's some problem. Uh, this is probably too fast, so it. Hmm, let's see on settings, graphics, frame skipping is off. Uh, oh, I have to use this. So, now it won't actually speed up. 
it was the problem of uh, <laughs> the game being too fast. Which is good, because... Oh, it speeds up again. Hmm. This has never actually happened before. <laughs> Kinda awkward. Okay. But as you can see, uh, it actually looks absolutely fantastic. Maybe even better uh, than on PSP, but obviously because I have a shitty webcam, you can't actually see that. What you can see is PS1 graphics. <laughs> and actually, let's hop right into the last game. Planetary Portable. This is absolutely fantastic game. Oh, this actually fixed itself uh, in last update because this circle here was kind of low quality last time, but now it looks pretty good. So let's see if I can go uh, go to paddle. And go to Tartanus. This is actually one of my favorite games of all time, and the portable version is... Well, it's not actually better, but if you just want to enjoy the story, this is actually a faster game, and much easier. And... I'm alone right now, but it doesn't really matter, because I'm just showing you. Resume for the 43rd floor. Be careful. Oh, and one cool thing about emulators, I actually have the Japanese. Huh, falling back. I wonder what that was. I have the Japanese language back for this, so. As you can hear. By the way, you should always, uh, if you're using Note 2, you should have frame skip uh, turned off because it tends to be shitty if you have it on. Mazio. Oh yeah. So, I think that's enough for that. And I, I just uh, showed you three games, but I have tested more. I tested um, what was it? Uh, Metal Slug Collection, uh, Metal Slug Anthology, I mean. And what was it? Uh, some other game. Oh, Fantasy Star, uh, one or two, whatever. Uh, Metal Slug uh, Anthology did load, but only the sound. Uh, oh, and, and the video on the stars, but the game itself, well, I didn't see anything. Uh, the sound uh, did load, but um, but I was not able to see fucking thing. And same for Fantasy Star Portable, so... Yeah, some games do work, but some games do not work. But these three do work, and... Costing Goblins is absolutely fantastic to play on the go. So if you, but you absolutely need the controller because playing on the on-screen controls is fucking terrible. Unless you are playing something like Persona 3 Portable, because you don't really need fast movement. So yeah, this was about it. So. If you have uh, something Note 2 or anything faster, I highly recommend it. He, <coughs> I'm sorry, I highly recommend this program. As long as you have the games and the console, do not pirate. Do not pirate. This has been Joe Flynn. Goodbye. Oh, I'm still on. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba.